Hey guys, we have exclusive secret information. That's right, that's right. Taking this one to the grave. Now, Timothy, we've all been following his secret naughty little past. Mm -hmm. And you know me and Jodie Lee, we love to dig into secrets more and more. Mm -hmm. We love crime, we, we love do. true crime. If you check our channel out, you'll see that we love true crime and mm -hmm. we love to dig deep. <laughs> we do, go. yes. We like to find the cracks and everything, mm -hmm. all right? <laughs> and when our two favorite things join to one, that's maths right. and true crime, when they cross over, we're here for it. And we, we love it, we, we love it. This is like the ultimate crossover. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And we have got some exclusivity for you. Mm -hmm. Now we've been doing a lot of digging. Mm -hmm. Now we did a lot of digging before, but unfortunately someone beat us to the punch. Oh, we you hated know? that because we got all this information and then half an hour later, the Daily Mail leaked everything. They did, they, they oh. beat us to mm. it. They have more resources than they beat us, but exactly. we have something a bit more exclusive that they don't have. Mm. That's right, that's right, because we like to dig in the dirt and get all the juicy information because we're the little ants that go marching up the hill. Yes, that's exactly right because in the Daily Mail, Timothy said he was seen smuggling 180 kilograms worth of cannabis in hockey bags using a helicopter to transport the cannabis from Canada to the USA. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right, he had hockey bags on his helicopter. Mm -hmm. And we happen to have CCTV footage of a helicopter with hockey bags British Going Columbia, to, that's right. 2006, 2006, <laughs> yep. Now obviously this is all allegedly, we don't know if this is actually Timothy, but mm. this is what he would have done. And it's part of his circle of uh, peers, I mm. guess you could call them. <laughs> I do remember, it's in 2006. Mm. The dots are dotting. The information that he's given to the Daily Mail is all adding up yes, the information yes, that yes. we found. We've got it all on the dates. Yeah, it's allegedly. documents, you yep. know, we're reading between the lines. Mm -hmm. And this is what we found. So in 2006, Canadian and US law enforcement dismantled a major cross-border drug smuggling network based in British Columbia. Columbia. The smugglers operated between Bellingham, Washington and Harrison Hot Springs, British Columbia, mm. using remote mountainous locations as staging points for helicopter-borne drug drop-offs and deliveries. Now the code name, we're not gonna tell you the code name, okay guys, but the code name, beep. <laughs> the two year investigation by ICE and the RCMP resulted in the seizure of 3,640 kilograms of marijuana, 365 kilograms of cocaine, three aircrafts, and US 1.5 million in cash. Marijuana produced in British Columbia was smuggled into the United States while cocaine was brought back across the border into Canada. Six people were arrested in Canada. Charges include smuggling, trafficking, possessions of controlled substances, and possession of firearms. In the United States, 45 indictments resulted in more than 40 arrests in connection with the case. So yeah, we've just been trying to dig up some extra information for you guys, just mm. in case you're nosy like we are. <laughs> mm, exactly. Now we're not saying this is Timothy. No. Okay, this is all allegedly. No. But if but... you join the dots and piece things together, you know, it just seems a little bit suspect, doesn't it, Mars? A little <laughs> bit suspect. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. No one else has this footage but us. Mm. It's a bit of a exclusive for you. Tell me what you think, guys. Do you think we're onto something? Or do you think it's all hearsay? Objection hearsay.